Hello, ghouls and goblins. This is Goosebumps Dan, aka Goosebumps Now, here, and I am in chat with. Goosebumps Jan, go ahead and introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Goosebumps Jan, aka Narasaki on YouTube. Uh, what's up, everybody? I'm in chat with Brandon Syme. Hi. I'm, I, uh, I inhale oxygen. And then we have a guest star with us today. Bruh. So, we had discussed earlier on that we were going to start this podcast off by talking about horror movies from our childhood that scared us the most. And Brandon says he already had a subject at hand, ready to go, so he can fire us off. Yep. Show us what Mr. Clean's all about. I got five. Whoa, 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 whoa. Greedy Pants McGee. (laughs) One. (laughs) Okay, fine. Fine. Give us your best three. Okay, how about this? One. We can go in circles, but for now... The one that one. fucked you up I'm the most. I hate myself for saying this. Spider-Man 3. Fuck. Horror movies only? I mean, if it's a movie that, like, traumatized you, that's fine. Um, oh, I got a horror movie, then. No, no, no. Wait. Oh, dang, that's spooky, bro. And I started crying. <laughs> like a little wuss, because I was two. So, shut up, people. <laughs> Okay, so essentially, we're going with your number one that fucked you up was Spider Man 3. Moving on to Josh. No, no, no. No, no it's too late, bitch. You put it in. You can't take this back. This isn't a standardized test. You're going out in pen. Welcome to college. Alright, Josh, what's what movie that scared you the most? I got said before, before the chat started, not really. There wasn't really any movies that scared me the most. But if you want to go by. And I'm going to go into the circumstantial scare. I was going off a medication that um, was found to cause cancer for my ADHD. So I was going through things of withdrawal. And I went to go to Spider-Man 2 with my uncle. <laughs> Where Doc Ock was um, killing all the doctors. Kind of uh, made me have like a, uh, like a, I don't know what you call it. Like a... oh, that can scare the shit out of me. So what I'm hearing right now is that half the group in this chat was terrified by the original Spider-Man movies. Tim, are, are you going to have the same issue here? They were good. Okay, but again, we're moving on. Tim, how about you? What what movie messed you up the most? Spider-Man 1. Oh. My God. <laughs> Oh my guys, my favorite, my, my scariest movie of all time was B Movie. That's fucked up. What? You know, people still have to go to therapy I'm for that. Joking, no, I'm joking though. For me, I'd have to say it was the original Nightmare on Elm Street. I actually did not sleep for like two days after seeing it. I just couldn't. I, I, can, I couldn't I can even. See that. But I, I was young. I was like I nine, dude. How about you, Brandon? What actual horror movie fucked you up? Okay, for a horror movie. Hey, hey, hey! Saw. Spit it out of the. Bu- Stop sucking on the phone. Talk to it like this. <laughs> I'm gonna edit the fuck out of your parts. You know that, right? How old were you when you saw Saw? Just gotta ask. What? How old was Brandon when he saw Saw? When he uh, sees Saw? When I first saw Saw, I Dude, was seriously, fine. pull the phone away from your mouth for like an, an, a centimeter, please. Brandon, what kind of parents do you have? I was watching TV. I saw Saw for five minutes. 
I was like, ooh, the word saw, I don't know what that means, but I don't care. I'm going to try it. And then I got ready for that. <laughs> All right. That actually kept me up at night, I swear to God. 14, and it, it was called The Fourth Kind. And I really went to oh, for a second. That's about aliens. Was, it, it actually happened. Like, it was a real story. Like, it actually happened. I'm like, they can actually still take people and not return them? Oh, shit. Dude, the descent <laughs> fucked me up. Like, I know it wasn't real, but, like, just the whole... Oh, that movie's awesome! That movie, like, I remember watching with my ex and, like, legit, legit being scared of caves after. I'm like, well, I ain't fucking with no caves. Somebody's like, oh, man, million dollars. Just gotta go 25 feet underground in that cave. <laughs> I'm staying poor. I watched it with my high school drunk, sweetheart, and I was like, Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, like, we didn't even stop to have sex in the middle of it. We just watched it all the way through, and it just kind of fucked me up. Yeah, I'm like, you know, I'm not going to make no caves no more. Yeah, I don't fuck with caves because of that. Hey, what's sad, too, because literally right after we, our school class trip was going to a cave. Yeah? Yep. So, moving on to Finds of the Week. Did anybody have any good Goosebumps Finds of the Week in their stores? I got one. I got, like, five. Oh, my name's Brandon, and I have five of them again. Go ahead. Okay, you ready? Yep. Okay, so if you saw my cha- if you've been watching my channel lately, you would know that I got the Goosebumps Terror in the bo- uh, Terror in the Graveyard board game. Hey, he got that board game though. Yeah. And I also got the Haunted Mask promotional book. What is it for the VHF? Oh, okay. Um, that, and I also found, surprise, surprise, a signed copy of Download and Die number one. I don't know what that is, but okay. The Goosebumps comic book. Oh, nice. It's signed by the writer. Yeah? And I also found a couple of Goosebumps DVDs, but, uh, I only bought one. Which one? Uh, let me check here. Deep trouble. I hate myself. Nice. I, I sat down and watched it. It was horrible. Yeah, the TV adaptation was terrible. I look forward to reviewing then that. I got, then I also got Goosebumps Pogs. I saw that too. Okay, yep. I, saw, I saw most of that. The so, is, uh, moving on, Josh, did you have any finds of the week? I found stuff that were DVD related. Wow, you found stuff? He was going That's full scary. robot. I was in FYE. I'm not sure if you want to call that. Josh I'm lives at FYE. Really. Yep, I love FYE. Josh, is your Wi Fi okay? You're coming in and out, Broski. Okay, is that better? Yes. Okay. You sound like you're a million miles away. Not anymore. I love FYE. Anyway, so I was. Walked in there for you with my friends on my hangout trip. We were hanging out. Yeah. And they had this, like, bargain bin. I don't know why it was, like, bargaining. Like, they were just, like, a bunch of stuff. And, like, they showed you, like, what you could find in there. And I saw the Night of the Living Dummy, like, uh, the remake version of it that they have now. Instead of, like, the one they made, like, in 2006. Yeah. You would find a target with the book. Yeah, I know. Like, the new updated logos. Yeah. So I'm looking through the bargains and I, and I find the One Day at Horrorland twice. And they, only had, they had two of the DVDs. And I find One Night in Terror Tower, two of the, um, what's it called? Uh, the, the Night of the Dummies, and then one Go Eat Worms. Not bad, not bad. But I already had all of those, so I'm like, I'm good. How about you, Tim? Did you find anything awesome this week? I found. The Night in Terror Tower DVD nice. in the Randall's Bargain Bin. Not bad. Did you have it already? Yeah, so I didn't buy it. That's okay. I find shit all the time and don't buy it. It just depends, you know. Sadly, I didn't really go thrifting yeah. this week, so... I mean, I bought, like, Halloween stuff, but not, like, Goosebumps stuff. Just because, you know, Goodwill's got all the Halloween out now. But you got... Yeah, but you found some shivers. That's 
You know what? That should be your last friend at the, at the fire. That was my last. That was my last week one. That was just a video I hadn't put together yet. Remember uh, that late, late one podcast I talked about it a couple podcasts ago. Yeah. yeah I, remember. I found that then. Um, I got like a I got a fog machine. Goodbye. Yeah, I can't wait to use it for Halloween. Maybe make some more Would movies okay and if stuff. I made an announcement on here. Sure, Brandon Sim with a uh, breaking news. A podcast first, 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 first announcement. I'm just going to make the segment the following announcement section. Go ahead. Okay, so, uh, children, uh, for Halloween this year, I'm going to be doing a couple of comic book and book-related reviews. So, oh. for this year, I'm going to be... I'm going to be reviewing The Haunted Mask 1, The Haunted Mask 2, Marvel Zombies vs. Army of Darkness, the and Marvel Mask Zombies 3. 1. Yeah, on the fall, my Halloween, I'm bringing back an old favorite that got blah, 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 stuff for last year. It's going to be uh, the sci-fi original horror films for the 31 Days of Halloween reviews that I do for those movies. All right. And then I'm starting a new segment called Goosebumps Theory. The next installment if it's the hurricane, it's not like I got my power tomorrow, will be... Um, monster, monster, it's the monster one... The blood, but the blood of the other one. All right. All right, let's hear it. The bacon Big Mac is overrated. Really? Oh, <laughs> you know, I don't really yeah. need a McDonald's, so I'm going to take your word for that. The hamburger is overrated. Hey, while we're on that subject, has anybody had that Popeye's chicken sandwich? Is it good? It it's actually really good. It's it's pretty good, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. But is it better than Chick Fil A? People love their Chick Fil A. It's better than than Chick Fil A. No, it's better. No, Chick Fil A is spicier. But oh well, <laughs> it, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Is it true, Brandon, they, they don't have Chick-fil-A's in Wisconsin? Chick-fil-A's in Wisconsin. Oh. Okay, okay. You're right, Wisconsin people love their Chick-fil-A. So, I have a segment I like to start doing on the podcast, and that's okay. Sure, what is the segment you want to implement? Um, horror movie remakes that did not suck. Okay. Alright, Josh, what horror movie do you have to talk about that apparently is a good remake but not shitty? I thought too, actually. Scary Movie 3. I like oh, the second one better with the fucking the hand. <laughs> this is my, my no, strong hand. The Fog. The Fog 2005. Bro, what about the, the 80s version of The Thing? <laughs> There you go. Oh, God. No, See, the 80s version of the thing, the thing was amazing. What? I haven't seen that movie in a while. No, seriously, the 80s version was better than the classic. Like, the classic's a classic, but the remake was amazing. The remake was always better. And then they made I some shitty know, prequel, that's and that's that was a whole other thing. You must be thinking of the prequel they did in, like, the early 2000s, which was just kind of like... Yeah, the prequel one was crap. Was, yeah, you're right. That yeah, was prequel was horrible. Yeah, well, it's hard to capture blog, magic. Your magic, the you know. Fog's a really good movie. Let me just go real quick about the filmography of the fog. The fog originally was a nice hearing John Carpenter film starring the lovely and the first queen queen, Jamie Lee Curtis. Uh, I know what you're talking about now. It's Halloween. Yeah, that that's and it was just a great film. Like honestly, it's most underrated. I think it was one of the most underrated horror films I've ever. Seen. What Halloween? The remake. Very underrated, yeah. It's not all of you know about it. Victim, uh, <laughs> Michael Myers is a legend, though. What? Nobody even knows what that is. I mean... I Halloween 2018. Okay, so the, here's the thing, though. This is fine. Actually, the best Halloween movie is the 2007 remake. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I'm just saying this. Like... This is a touchy subject because 
not only has it been remade technically more than once, it's got a bunch of different timelines that are no longer canon, so... Are you talking about the 2007 remake, like, Rob Zombie's Halloween? Yes. See, that was a good one, in my opinion. Now, Halloween 2, that was... Rob Zombie's Halloween 2 was total ass. Well, the best in the franchise, obviously. Are you fucking high? The best in the franchise was Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. Halloween three season. Same. Of the Witch. I'm one of those fucking few people. Dude, it's such a good movie. I don't get why Josh hates it so much. Because he's a witch. I, said I don't hate it. I don't like it. <laughs> you hate I it. I don't like it. it. I, can't I don't. You know why? Because they're shitting on witches, and Josh likes witches because he's a warlock. Because Harry Potter. <laughs> do, 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 do. Harry, get the snitch. I wish it would have got a sequel in its own right. Season of the Witch two has like a screenplay, but no actual video. I can't wait. Why not instead of season of the witch, year of the witch? Because Halloween's a season. Of the witch. I got a good one though. VHS, the movie series. I only saw the first one. Tim, have you seen it? I've seen the first one. Yeah, that's it. Whenever there's a really bad movie I don't want to watch, I just let Decker Shadow review it for me. Yeah. What did you think of the first one, you two, um, you and um, Tim, Brandon? I I thought it was okay. Uh, I was sick when I watched it, so I kind of thought it was a little boring. But that's because you know I had a flu and I was getting tired. So, yeah, true. But other than that, I thought it was okay. What about you, Tim? Tim? Amateur Night is the best segment. Oh, that was a good story, yeah. That is all. (laughs) You know, speaking of movies that were a big letdown, anybody... The, oh the boy. Yeah. And they're supposed yeah. to be making a number two? Yeah, well, I watched the first one, and I was kind of into it. I'm like, yo, it's got Maggie from The Walking Dead. She's hot as fuck. Let's go. I'm sick as fuck laying there drinking my tea watching it. I'm into it. I'm into it. And then they do the big twist, and I'm like, and I, you lost me. I fucking hate this now. You all yep. lost me. Same. Damn you, Brams. Damn you. It was not a bad movie, I just didn't like the twist. So, let's get uh, our goodbyes going here, starting with the Josh, since this is Josh's show. Yeah, Josh. Hey, everybody, gentlemen, um, Goosebumps Chen is out. Thank you all for watching. Um, probably going to continue uh, my channel, the live stream, yes, okay, everybody else. I think you should definitely do that, yes. Brandon, closing statements, go. Awesome. Uh, I breathe oxygen. Don't be stupid, don't vape, and uh, subscribe to my channel because I'm a lonesome little kid, so goodbye, thank you. Alright, and then our guest star, Tim. Make an extreme bacon burger from McDonald's is good. Okay. And this has been Goosebumps Now signing out. Look forward to this podcast in two weeks because editing takes me a lifetime. Subscribe for more scary content like this.